Hello, uh, we're now going to do another type of frequency table. Uh, I have another list above here. Um, and what I can see is that this is continuous data. Uh, this may have been rounded from some measurements of height or weight or time uh, to one decimal place. Uh, it is not like the list of integers we had above. Um, so can I put it into a frequency table? Uh, well, what I see when I try to do that, like we did before, is that I could say that there's one zero point four, there's one one point eight, um, but then we just get a long list like we did, uh, like we have above. That wouldn't really make sense. It wouldn't really be helpful to have that kind of frequency table. So what can we do? Um, well, we can say uh, a range or an interval that each number falls in between, like I've done here. Okay, I could say well, how many between zero and two. Uh, how many between 2 and 4, and so on. So how many between 0 and 2? Um, well, 2. How many between 2 and 4? Scan through, we see that there are 3. How many between 4 and 6? 2. Uh, how many between 6 and 8? So it looks like there's quite a lot there. Um, uh, 6. Uh, and I know that there should be 16 numbers here, uh, but so there should be 3 left for between 8 and 10, and yes, there, there is. Uh, and again, we have 16 uh, numbers here. Okay, so how can I find the mean? Can I do what I did before? Um, well, before we just did the x value times the frequency and added all those up and then divided. Um, but can you do a range times a number? 0 to 2 times 2? Two, 2 to 4 times 3? Um, no, that doesn't really make sense. You can't do a range times a number. I don't know what that would even equal. Um, so what's the next best thing? Um, well, uh, what we actually have here is an estimate for the mean, because we're going to estimate that each number within that range is around, on average, um, halfway through that interval, the mid at the midpoint of the interval. Um, so what's the midpoint of the range of 0 to 2? 1. Halfway between 2 and 4, 3. Halfway between 4 and 6, 5, 7, and that. Okay, so we're going to use those. Uh, we're going to assume that every point is roughly, on average, uh, at that midpoint. And we're going to start multiplying using that midpoint instead. So I basically have two ones. I have three threes. I have two fives. I'm going to add all those up by multiplying. Okay, um, so those are my multiplications. I add them up. Uh, I'll do a little running total here, and I get 90. Um, so what we need to do is the same as before. Okay, I have my total, even though it's an estimate, and I'm going to divide by the frequency. So total divided by frequency is going to give me the mean. Uh, okay, so if I just do that calculation, 90 divided by 16, uh, let's see is 5.625 or again and I being we ran to three significant figures 5.63 okay there would be no point being uh, too specific there because this was an estimate overall uh, yeah after all okay that is how I find an estimate for the mean uh, from a grouped frequency table